Hello, everybody. Mike Arnold here, co-founder Patrick and Partners, checking in on Monero. I haven't checked in for a while. Last time we were here, we had 132 and 135. It's pretty much stalled out just above the 132 level. Came We dealt, came back, broke down below the rotation zone again. We also had downside projections. 115, spike through there a couple times, uh, making this very sloppy bottoming pattern, rallying back up. Hit this hitting our 135 actually spiking through but hitting the 135 level that enabled us to come up here and move up our GAN levels 144 then 148 next strong rally up where it moved sideways let the rotation zone catch up and then broke out above all this resistance coming up what did this hit uh 144.19 we had 144.21 making this double top pattern which just means patient pullback it was minor targets in the rotation zone pulled back to rotation zone now rotating back up at this point still just going to leave these upper levels in place we have major cluster between 148.50 and 151 so that's going to be next major resistance level we'll take a look at the daily for that now if it does not hold right here above 135, then the next key pullback level is about 130.50. We got the rising 50 and the 37.5% prior retracement level. So that's what we'll be focusing on. Switching over to the daily chart, you can see got caught in the rotation zone, dropped back out, then closed above it, closed right at it, then power moved through it. Now it looks like we're going to get the first cross. This is really key here. I mentioned the 130, 50 levels, and that's where we have the first cross just above that, about 131. So really watch as this for key support and a rotation back up if we do pull back that far. Also up in this big cluster area I talked about, if you look over here, there's a prior uh, support becoming resistance area and declining 50. So this is something if you definitely want to move up your stops or take partial profits and add on any pullback. That's what we're watching for in, on Monero. Switching over to Ripple. Ripple coming up off its lows, stalling out at the 50, moving sideways, flat rotation zone, which just means consolidation, which you can see visually from a chart. You don't actually need the moving averages. It's just when they go flat, choppy like that, just watch for it to break out of consolidation. Finally broke out of consolidation. We had the reverse GAN boxes from the lows on the 29th back to the highs on the 23rd, which gave us the... 0.55055 level and point what is that 5146 level you could have also done a forward GAN box from this pausing bar it's virtually the same levels see that right there the 0.054 which you we poked up through closed on and then spiked through that 0.51375 level now pulling back to the rotation zone could not hold at the top We'll be watching for a potential pullback area of 0.4787 to about 0.4755 and then seeing if we can get a strong rotation back up. At this point also we can drag these next levels higher. So on a stronger rally we're watching 4.5320 and 0.5440. Now if we do break through this and that level does not hold watch for this 0.472 area prior resistance becoming support and the 50% retracement of that up move that's going to be the really key area you don't want to break below there's also resistance becoming support resistance coming support so that should be your last line of support if it does break below that then there's a lot of weakness has returned to ripple let's take a look at the daily chart so finally closing the rotation zone yesterday moving up trying to spike up through it but closing back down the key area on the daily is this 0.4775, the hooking up eight. It's right now trapped between. So if we can get a close above, again, about this 0.508 level, that will be bullish. If we get a close below the 0.472, that will be much more bearish. And then I'd expect a possible return to the 0.4480 level. So it really depends. It looks like we're going to close right in the middle and then watch for it to break up or down above those key levels to really determine how aggressive you get with your trading. That's what we have for you on uh, Ripple and Monero, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.